and what's going on? We are suffering in silence here. This is Nine of Pentacles being single and Nine of Swords stressed. Wanting a connection, right? Wanting a connection. Wanting to be bond to someone. Seven of Swords and Nine of Swords. We are stressed that somebody is cheating, lying, deceiving, uh, going behind our back. And it's all swords. What's going on? Of course, this is your energy. So you are in your own energy. But way too stressed. And the universe says you need to move on. We have six of swords. We need peace of mind. Peace of mind is coming. Leaving behind whatever uh, energies we might have been entangled to or with. And eight of pentacles. But we need to put some effort into it. Right? It will not come, um, you know, without effort. Moving on, it is actually a lot of effort. So, kind of like the universe acknowledging, you know, sometimes we get like energies like, yeah, you should work on it. <clears throat> so, the overall energy we do have the Hierophant and we do have the Magician and we have the work energy again, two of Pentacles. Um, so, wisdom, awareness, and movement choices and decisions, right? Kind of like the universe saying that. You know, this is um, this is a time where we have to be very wise about we need to manifest movement choices and decisions, right? <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Um, it is also by excellence the um, energy of the universe is working with you. The magician is above, so below, so we align. But it also requires your own um, choices, whatever you manifest uh, for the future. Um, it has to reflect itself in your choices and the uh, the movement you decide to make or the actions you decide to take. So Gemini, past energies. <coughs> past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords again. Um, Gemini, I, I know the first time we said, well, it's a matter of energies and uh, maybe, um, you know, not uh, being fully honest, but now it's the second time. So that is no doubt somebody here um, kind of played you in some way, Gemini. So it might have been a Leo, you have Taurus Leo energy so far, but we do have the strength and we do have the will of fortune, right? Kind of like the universe saying, well, it was meant to be. Um, it was uh, on your path with the destiny, uh, the will of fortune and the strength. Again, might have been um, a Leo, but doesn't have to. It has a strong energy of a powerful um, destiny that planted the person on your path, right? And um, it has also... Um, Kind of this energy where you stood strong, right, in um, in front of the uh, whatever came your way, um, because the wheel of fortune is also the up and down, right. So whatever um, swift change um, in path, in destiny, in, in situations, I feel that we've um, been on our best behavior, right. It has this energy of. of um, using your mind despite the uh, consecutive um, changes. Now, the <clears throat> now this person of yours, they do have uh, the death, Scorpio energy, and the three, uh, the three of pentacles. Um, they might have ended this connection, right? It's a strong indication that you've built something with this person. It was solid. <clears throat> it was based on, um, you know, on both of you. It has this energy of shared resources, um, skills brought to the table to build something solid. And then they went through a transformation and they might have ended uh, this connection, right? That was a change. Um, and the need, uh, the death, right? It's a, it's a need. Um, it's, it's more than, well, I decided it's going to be this, but it's a... Um, it's a transformation. It's something fundamental that happened to them and uh, made them um, actually think and end the connection. But of course, with a, uh, we had the Seven of Swords a couple of times, right? So somebody was not dishonest, was not honest or about uh, what they are going through and the transformation it required. 
and um, the energy between the two of you even more shadows um, we do have the moon, Pisces energy, and the Empress. One was extremely giving and uh, nurturing and probably had kids with this person or that was a very strong energy of family and, um, you know, emotions and creativity and passion. Um, but then we also had shadows, right? We had love and we had shadows and then they went through a transformation. That is no doubt by the energy so far that you were not... Um, they were not telling the truth or they were hiding something. And speaking of the truth, we do have judgment, truth and sacrifice, right? So Gemini, you are going through again your major transformation yourself. Um, the judgment is about second chances in life. It's about uh, um, transformations, but not like the death energy, right? And probably you are looking for the truth. At this point, I feel that you even want to sacrifice in order to get the truth, right? I hope you are not sac uh, sacrificing a truth of some sort for this connection. Um, well, because it wouldn't last long, right? Whenever we go against the flow, um, what's meant and, um, you know, we kind of make mistakes there. So... And because Major Arcana, and you, I mean, look at it, um, when I, you had Major Arcana in the past, a uh, fully transformational situation with a destiny energy, with a will of uh, fortune uh, energy, and now you get the judgment um, and the hangman. For some of you, this is guidance and a Major Arcana about lessons and pieces of advice, and it's, um, you have one in the past where, um, the universe kind of was was asking you, I don't know if you saw it or not, um, to really tame yourself and allow the flow to happen. That's one of the advice, uh, the pieces of advice. And now we have uh, truth and we have the hangman, which is a higher perspective on things, a higher perspective about the truth. <clears throat> it's about changing your perspective on a transformation. It's not uh, a transformation into true self. Um, it's um, a higher perspective about the truth. It's accepting also or expanding your mind to understand the truth of this connection. That is guidance for someone. So many major arcana, I mean. <clears throat> and we also have awareness as the overall energy. Um, two energies, one of wisdom, one of awareness, right? So that is something you need to be aware of. And with the twice the seven of swords, there is no doubt that there is a message there. Either we are lying to ourselves, either they did that and there is something more um, happening behind the scenes that we don't see, but we have to accept it as a truth, right? Now this person of yours, Three of Cups and the Star. Um, rejoicing, celebration and hope. Um, somebody is aligning, but somebody is also having a bit of fun with the Three of Cups. Um, rejoicing themselves in celebration. They might be in a partnership, but um, can be a third party situation as well. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. When we see so many threes, we say, and the overall energy, it's a three. The Magician is one, the Two of Pentacles. So we might be Gemini in a third party situation and somebody here is really enjoying their time and getting what they want and chasing after what they want. Um, and they transformed uh, like a solid partnership to have a little bit of fun and... Uh, and meet other people and be in uh, the spotlight you know the star is also the energy of spotlight mutual energies between the two of you we do have the three of swords and the way and the eight of cups the pain of walking away right the heartache and loss um after walking away so in some way the universe is saying they are not indifferent so uh, you are not uh, as well if you have something in, in common, it's really, you know, the uh, this um, painful energy of I have to disconnect and I have to emotionally withdraw from um, a connection here. And um, we do it um, different ways and I feel that they are having a little bit of fun and enjoying other people um, with so many, right? Three. Uh, while on your side you are going through major transformation of understanding. Um, the the judgment is the truth of life. So I that's why I keep saying I, I feel that it's a major understanding 
of how people work, connections work, uh, divine energy works, uh, manifestation, higher self, higher truth. That is something bigger um, happening on your side here. And the, the judgment again. And the judgment again. Swear to God, we have you. We have you at crossroads. And the, uh, the outcome of this is the two of wands, the waiting game. But then we get a major arcana again, the truth. What about the truth, right? Waiting to get the truth or there's something. And it's more than that. Again, it's a transformation that we need to go through. It's a, it's a beautiful transformation. Um, we are not shedding skin. We are just uh, from the caterpillar to the butterfly, right? It's a beautiful part of transformation. Beautiful. Now, this person of yours, they do have the Five of Pentacles and the Temperance, Sagittarius. This is all about feeling rejected, going through financial and material changes. Uh, they, go, they go from party to broke, um, can be. Um, but they hope for peace of mind here. We do have hope and we do have patience. Um, honestly, they know they are going through a transformation. It has this rebellious energy of I'm going to have fun. But at the end of the day, you know, um, Five of Pentacles is a very grounding energy of, wait a minute, I don't have enough. Um, you know, I can sustain, I can't sustain this. And um, we have them sitting down, you know. So, yeah, kind of a rebellious energy. Mutual energies between the two of you, again, move on. Emotional withdrawal, um, Six of Swords with the Eight of Swords, trapped in fear and moving on. Trying to, but still bound to each other, right? Still bound to each other, but I feel your transformation is way too beautiful to have you um, pushed back. I love the wisdom and awareness, right? Wisdom and, and again, two major arcana, you have so many Gemini on your side. And um, you need to be wise about something, you need to be aware about something, and maybe, um, you know, showing you the twice the seven of swords and twice the truth, right? That is a deceiving truth that you need to know, or you are about to find out, or that's what you need to move on, you know, to find out about it. And I'm pretty sure your instinct is telling you something, so... Um, and we have right at the core of the reading, emotional withdrawal, and the outcome, Six of Swords, moving on. So the universe cannot be more clear uh, today to someone. It's not that they have somebody else, but they are, they are in this energy of, I'm going to do better. But what comes out as a, as a result is the Three of Cups celebrations and, and having fun and, um, you know, Five of Pentacles, deception, emptiness, rejection, feeling lonely, right? So let's ask for some guidance. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? And Gemini, we need a real connection. The universe is asking you to um, have that in mind. Uh, the silver waterfall. This is transparency and the universe is asking you when you when it comes to this connection to be transparent, to speak your truth. It's the energy of self-protection, hiding behind uh, the veil of water, right? Um, but it is mainly about transparency, being transparent about this connection. And this is about love, right? Transparency and love and connection. Somebody, and I'm pretty sure, right, Gemini, this is your energy of love and the divine masculine. I know. The universe saying to you, you really need real love, transparent love, honest. Silver waterfall, right? Honest connection and love with the divine masculine. And focus on love. Look for the good in everyone, right? Kind of feel you are guided elsewhere. Um, in a connection with the divine masculine can be divine feminine by the way you know how it works and the real connection where the focus is on love right and right now they are really I mean their energy is all over the place focusing on on something else at this time so let's ask for some for the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time and we have cause effect you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. 
So connection and cause effect. If you open up to love, love will come your way, right? You create in your thoughts and it becomes reality. So in order for a connection to happen, I feel that's a message we received today, right? We need to engage. The silver waterfall we have present. You live in the present moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So be, be transparent now, right? Choose love that is open, honest, a connection that is open, honest, and with a divine energy. We got two. We do have love and detachment. You are re releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. We have love and detachment. We need to let go of something. And we do have surrender to prayer, divine masculine and surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from the heart, you'll be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. And bottom of the deck, we have surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, foods, uh, people, sex or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So you do have love and detachment, and I feel the addiction is this love, addictive love, right? And the universe is asking you to see the truth uh, or face the truth. Uh, in order for you to make some movement choices and decisions, Two of Pentacles requires just a little bit of, uh, of effort and it's sacrificing truth, right? It's um, accepting the truth, we might sacrifice a love connection that we feel we have, right? But it is the truth. So, um, Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.